Yeah. 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 And I'm Scott Collier from Dundalk TV, and also delivered my intent for State Senate. Ron Schaefer, local Dundalk resident. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three, of these, three of these people, besides these time times, myself and Mr. Stab, were at the work session on Tuesday. Okay. Okay. That's fine. And um, part of the reason that we're here is we've started in the negotiation room started reaching out to groups that have been protesting in Baltimore County where they had issues. And we handled things at the Cohen race for people who had the abortion rights protests. We handled things with the Admiral Rights groups that protested in Towson. And we wanted to reach out to you because in case you play on protesting or taking things further, we wanted to start a dialogue and introduce ourselves so you have a voice and a face and someone that you can talk to if you decide in the future that you want to carry signs and demonstrations to protest here or in Towson or wherever they are. Well, we meet with all the groups that have protests. We've been doing this for a while. Why did you select these two people? We were going through everything from the safe Thank you. So it is, it is not to dissuade you from doing anything, which is why I asked you can meet at 3 o'clock, so there will be plenty of time for us to get together and then you can attend the meeting afterwards because it's going to be there to vote tonight and the issue that's important to you. And just establish a relationship so that if there are continued things that go the way that you feel they should go and there's stuff in the future, then you have someone to talk to to say, hey, we're going to protest in this day at this time and you can be there to arrange it, facilitate it, and make sure that everything goes smoothly and you bring you're able to bring positive attention to your calls and there's no confusion and you have an open mind and everything. Our job is to make sure your rights are protected. We're kind of a neutral party. We understand this is a very hot topic. We want to make sure everybody knows the ground rules as far as you know, signing up. Now, granted, I know most of you probably know these rules already, but we just want to make sure everybody knows. Years of testifying? Yeah, you probably know them better than we do. Really? But, um, we, we just want to make sure everybody knows the rules um, because in a lot of these issues, people that may not be associated with your group, they may try to interject themselves as being a part of your group. And if we identify the leaders of the group, you can say, hey, that individual over there has nothing to do with our group whatsoever. They're not obeying by the rules. So we can make sure everybody's on the same sheet of music so that you get a chance to convey your opinion and your voice and we have an overview and resilience. When you called, you said you were here to go over the rules. Isn't that what you said? Go yeah, over rules and things that one people protest. Not necessarily the rules for the. I'm confused. The the protest. <laughs> well, I think it was a different meaning than testify. No, no, no. I, we were informed that the, the meeting got a little disordered. And was I wasn't there. Nor was the court order. We just want to make sure that everybody knows what the rules for the meeting are on both sides. So that you guys get a chance to convey your opinion. And it's done so we don't have to you get your rights and we don't have to worry about taking any time. Thank you. Um, actually came for some of the folks on our dig and terror protection teams that they think we're getting involved. Well, so we'd like to, to have the names of so anybody in protesting for it. And set this up or move to set it up or was this dissatisfied uh, with anything you said because I know nothing it was said during the meeting that was everything that I I certainly did not okay. and I was treated rather briskly and I think very disrespectful um, by the at me no I mean who was treated 
pretty disrespectful. The council. That you understand that we can't the, the council person, that's all you know, if they conduct themselves in that sort of way, that's an issue that's dealt with with the voters. Um, but we also are talking to the folks in the council saying, hey, you know, we have individuals that are probably gonna to want to sign up and we talk to them about making sure they know what we as police can do too, so they don't misunderstand. Well, I made my comments. And I guess about three fourths to the comments. Unsolicited, I did not expect this in the moment and applause, but they started applauding. And that took maybe 30 seconds or 20 seconds for the applause. In the meantime, the clock running on me according to the chairperson. So I was not finished my statement. And she abruptly said, your time is finished. Your time is up. And that's approximately half she said. I said, may I make a concluding statement? She said, absolutely not. Your time is up. I was, I was not allowed to finish my statement. And it was not my fault. I would have stayed easily within the within the three minutes. Right. I I think that was an intention of my rights. Right. Said you're more than happy to, to write to the council person to complain about that. Do you really think that would do any good? <laughs> yeah, sir. I, I can't speak for the council folks. Our concern right now is just to make sure that you know there's just an orderly meeting, everybody's rights are protected. That's what our concern is. But you stated that um, the officers that were there that night said that things got out of hand. The city got disordered. Disorderly. I videotaped I the meeting. I, I don't think so. We're not accusing anybody. We just want to make sure the meeting is working. We do this all the time. We meet with well, groups that. Why are we being singled out? You're not. not. We're actively working with several other groups. Well, what so, groups are working with? Postal workers that they're. Oh, what about the meeting Tuesday night? The work session, which are the groups that you're working with? They testified in the work session. Tuesday. We're working with at this point. Okay. When Corporal Hasper called me, I asked him, I said, are you meeting with the American Legion? And he said, yeah, why? I said, because they were as passionate as we were. So why are we being singled out? I was being singled out. Obviously, we are. What's the name of the I have to go back and check my notes. Yeah. Well, you must know if I call you. You must know who they are. All we're trying to do is establish. I'm not going to rehash what you think. We're just trying to establish the picture. Because somebody called you. You got to know who called you. I said that these people were behaving. Somebody called you. We're not going to go backwards. We just want to go forward. And so then, what are the rules? that you want to share with us. You said you've been aware of the rules. You said if you plan to protest in the future, we can give you my name and number, which you already have, and then we can talk about where you want to protest, how you want to conduct the protest, or the demonstration. I'm confused because we testified at a hearing. You turned turn this into a protest? I'm not turning it into that. I'm saying if you're unhappy and this issue isn't resolved today and it continues, then if you choose to protest or demonstrate or public attention to your cause, then we can help you and have a dialogue. I'm just going to justify it because if one of the three of you were there, somebody had to tell you to come here. And I don't understand why you're not telling me to do this. I mean, you want taxpayers and more open government, and that was an open meeting. And I can't understand why you can't say since you weren't there. If you were there, it would have been a different story, but you weren't, so somebody. Yeah, that's a normal course of business for us. Yes, when we have um, groups that we believe that are going to protest or are upset about it for an issue of our county, and we believe that are going to call, possibly cause a disturbance or a protest, we reach out to them to make sure that we protect their rights as well as you know maintain an orderly presence. For example, um, the, uh, the, the folks that have been protesting at the animal shelters. Yeah, we've been dealing with them for, I guess, a couple months. 
Have you had any? Um, I'm sorry. Wrong? No, no, no. And nobody. We're not saying anything. Somebody did. Somebody said we were getting out of here. I do believe if someone said we were orderly that night, you know, they would have handled it that, that afternoon when we were there. Please take care of We're trying to tell you where we're coming from, making sure all sides are protected, and we have a board meeting. And you can get your message out. Obviously, we're not, our communication's not working well here. Um, do you think that there's some purpose other than why we're here? Um, that's why we're here. Mr. Staff is a past delegate, state delegate. He was a, a director, former director of Baltimore County Breaks and Parks for many years. How many years? I've been here for two years, and we've been testifying for almost two years. And all of a sudden, we're called in to be by the homes, too. But you're not done ever, folks. Well, we're answering all the other questions right now. Officer, uh, so what specifically was this word? What, what specifically, what acts or statements were made? We were told there was profanity in the hallway. There was yelling and screaming. Profanity in the hallway? Well, that wasn't us. That's not in the room. Well, it's still in the so. Well, I was in the hallway. I didn't hear one person speak that way. Certainly wasn't. And I'd like to know, is there someone associated, because I'm playing a supporting role in um, getting signatures. I'm concerned that um, I've actually had someone um, trying to shut me down in my uh, campaign for state senate. So um, I'm, I'm wondering if it may be directed towards me as well. Absolutely not. Okay, You're just not want to make sure. the political part at all. Okay. Well, thank you. But officer, it's your statement that it came. It's your, I'm sorry. Excuse me, sir. It's your statement that it came from your office. Did it come from someone on the county council? No, absolutely not. How'd you get the information? Individuals that are on our daycare care protection team. How many were there? That night, I'm not positive about others. They're not positive. It's usually two or three. I haven't seen the officer. You normally run a two or three. Any additional writing? Any of this in writing? Any of this in writing? Mm -hmm. Any of this in writing? Mm -hmm. Any of this in We do an office order for any time we can put it. I'm talking about is there anything in writing indicating that the two officers over there, whoever was there, I don't know one of them, submitted a report to you as a family? Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a huh? It was verbally transmitted. You don't know who they were? One, they're undercover, and two, I'm not positive of what's going on. Why would they be undercover? Me. Plus, you've been to enough of these, you know they were playing boats. I've been around 40, almost 40 years, so I've never been out of game play. I've never heard about when you call the school. They were playing boats. We always, they were playing boats. They're there for every year. They're there for every year. Probably been there. You haven't seen them. They were the first one. You haven't noticed. You're doing a good job. Right. They feel that you're being, um, someone's trying to intimidate us and to take away our First Amendment rights. I think it's I'm sorry. You can look at me like that, but I'm sorry I do. Karen, we've been doing this for a while. How many groups I've been testifying met? for two years, so why would you call me now? This is the first time we were reporting it since I've been in charge of this. But it wasn't us, so why are we being called in? That's who we were forming the law. Doug O'Neill. Well then, we'd like this to be an official record, and I'd like a copy of the report. And I need to find out who said that. Somebody would have to write some kind of verbal. If they're making false statements? 
Well, we're obviously not going to agree. Um, we're going to have a couple, like we always do, big care protection folks there. If you have any problems or concerns, we're more than happy to reach the local or or you have my cell phone. And you have my cell phone. Number, so I do. Thank you. Major, there's something behind this. Yes. Fuzzy, I know with you everything's something behind it. No, I, trust me. We're done. You said if you need me, Karen, you got my cell phone. Just leave it. You'll have a great summer. Good luck in the meantime. Thank you. What? Yeah, I got it. You Setups. This is okay, a Scott, you turn that off. political setup. I've Scott? spent four years on that yes. job. Okay. Never, I, if they